Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, it's Brother Ijaz and today I'll be responding to a really weird claim that Joseph J. Smith of Fandom Ministries recently made about me. So please take a listen and hear what he has to say. Today, Saturday, we're supposed to have a debate on the Quran. That's what that poster there is advertising. Ijaz Ahmed from Trinidad who challenged me to a debate on the Quran earlier this spring was going to fly over and do the debate tonight. When he heard it was only on the Quran and not on the Bible versus the Quran, they canceled the debate. They did not want to do this debate. Now that you've listened to the clip I just played, you will notice that he made the claim that I pulled out of a debate with him because I wanted to add the Bible into the topic. However, as you will be seeing on your screen right now, this is an email from the Christian organization representing J. Smith with his authority and speaking on behalf of him, Horizons International. This is an email from that organization, from their point of contact, Mr. Lincoln, to one of the organizers from the Muslim side. And as you can see, on July 2nd of 2018, at 11.38 p.m., the Christian side is the one that suggests the topic, the Bible or the Quran, which has been better preserved. So from the get-go, the claim that I wanted to change the topic to add the Bible into it is patently false when the topic was agreed to by J. Smith and his team and by the Christian organization representing him uh, in the month of July, five months before the debate was supposed to take place in November. Now, the second claim he made was that I was the one that pulled out of the debate. Again, let's put a correction here. As you can see on the email on the screen, Again, it's from the Christian organizer to the Muslim organizer of the debate. Again, the Christian organization Horizons International here is representing and speaking on behalf of J. Smith with his authority. And in this email, they plainly state that J. Smith is not interested in fulfilling his agreement to debate me, which he made in March of 2018. Lastly, I would like to point out that despite his reticence to debate me, uh, in May of 2018, his organization, the Founders Center for Apologetics, or as I say, the Founders Center for Propaganda, published a document, an internal document, listing the top Muslim debaters, and he actually listed me there, as you can see on your screen right now. So, my message to Jay would be this. I understand that you have a need to be dishonest when it comes to the circumstances about the debate. So, with everything said and done, I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. Please remember, I'm not the one that pulled out of any debate, and I'm not the one that tried to change the topic to add the Bible into it, as you can see from the documentary evidence provided. At the end of the day, we have no need to be dishonest, and I do not think that Jay uh, should have made the claim that he did. It is absolutely false, and as you can see with the evidence, he has no grounds to stand on. What I would like to take this opportunity to do is to call him to a higher standard and level of truth. We don't need to be dishonest about each other and we don't need to sully the names of the good people in Hong Kong. If you did not want to debate me and you did not want to honor your word, then that's perfectly fine. But there is no need to drag the good people of Hong Kong into disrepute because of your behavior. They will not be bullied by you, by your false propaganda and nor would I. I, the age of missionaries bullying Muslims is over. If you can't stick to your agreement, it's that simple. So with the documentary evidence provided, I don't think there's anything else left for me to say, except may Allah guide Mr. Smith to prevent him from having to lie about really simple and easy things. There is no need for dishonesty. We can have fruitful engagement between Muslims and Christians. Assalamu alaikum and good night.